Hello students! Welcome to Maestrang Teki YouTube channel! We are now in week 6 of grade 9 science quarter 3. This week's topic is all about climate change. If you haven't watched our previous lesson about the factors affecting the climate, I put the link in the description box below. Now, let us check out our learning objective. At the end of this video lesson, you will be able to describe certain climatic phenomena that occur on a global level. Listen carefully, class, and keep on watching! Before we start, look at the two pictures. What can you say? Let's spot their differences. Picture A shows abundant plant species, while picture B shows withered plants and falling leaves. Picture A shows normal heat index, while picture B shows intense heat. Picture A has green grasses, while picture B has extreme drought. Earth's climate has changed dramatically. This topic and scenario is not new to us. This has been a very hot issue in our environment nowadays. If we are going to describe this picture, we can say that it shows climate change. Let us define what climate change is. It is a natural phenomenon and has been occurring since the Earth came into being. It is a change in the average weather of a given area or region. It has something to do with significant changes in global temperature, precipitation, wind patterns, and other measures of climate that occur over several decades or longer. Experts says that the Earth go through the periods of cooling and warming. The increase of Earth's temperature is a natural occurrence caused by natural processes. However, it can be enhanced rapidly through other factors like human activities. For you to understand climate change, let us study this concept map. Global warming, as we all know, is an increase in the temperature of the Earth's atmosphere. This gradual increase in the overall temperature of the Earth's atmosphere is due to greenhouse effect. Greenhouse effect is the process by which radiation from the sun is absorbed by greenhouse gases and not reflected back into space. Carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, methane, water vapor, chlorofluorocarbons are some of the greenhouse gases that are responsible for the existence of life on Earth. Without these gases, Earth will be at freezing point and life won't be possible. But if the concentration of these gases in the atmosphere will be beyond the normal, this will lead to a phenomenon known as global warming or enhanced greenhouse effect. Now, let us talk about the causes of global warming or enhanced greenhouse effect. First is burning of fossil fuels. It refers to the burning of oil, natural gases, and coal to generate energy. When fossil fuels are burned, they release large amounts of carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas. Greenhouse gases trap heat in our atmosphere, causing global warming. Another reason is intensive farming to produce crops and livestock raising. Producing more food out of the land that is already used for agriculture often requires heavier use of nitrogen-based fertilizers which in turn release nitrous oxide emissions and contribute to climate change. Next is deforestation. It is the loss of trees and other vegetation that can cause climate change. Moreover, it may also cause soil erosion, fewer crops, flooding, and increased greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Also, some human activities may lead to the increase of greenhouse gases. Pollution, overconsumption, destruction of the reefs, and emission of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. 
These are mainly the causes of global warming. If we cannot control and minimize this, it may lead to climate change. Let us talk about what will be the effects of climate change. First up, climate change affects human health. Extreme changes in the weather and environment can increase existing health problems as well as creating new ones. Second, plants. Climate change also alters the life cycles of plants. For example, as temperature gets warmer, many plants are starting to grow and bloom earlier in spring and survive longer into the fall. Third, animals. They face new challenges for survival because of climate change. There were animals that are waking from hibernation sooner or migrating at different times. Fourth, melting of glaciers. Melting of glaciers may add to the rising of sea levels, which in turn increases coastal erosion and elevates storm surge. Lastly, climate change will alter precipitation. Changes in precipitation patterns will impact people and ecosystems by altering the availability of water throughout the year. The predicted impacts of altered precipitation patterns include floods and droughts will become more frequent and more severe, wildfires are expected to become stronger and more common, Changing ecological processes and species distribution in some aquatic habitats and may cause severe weather events. Based on the concept map, we can say that climate change is the change in the usual temperature or the rise in average surface temperature on Earth. So, what can we do to help lessen these effects? Here are some things to consider. First, we have reduce carbon emissions. Practice walking in short distances. Use sustainable transportation such as bicycle or use public transportation. Also, conservation of energy. Cut down unimportant use of energy at home. Unplug appliances when not in use. Practice free R's or reduce, reuse, and recycle. Adopt a plant-based diet. Increase your vegetable consumption. Livestock is one of the biggest contaminators of the atmosphere. Therefore, reducing meat consumption can lessen carbon emission. Use renewable energy. Renewable energy often referred as clean energy. It comes from natural sources or processes. Therefore, installing solar panels may help our environment. Next, preservation of forest. Avoid illegal logging. Instead, plant more trees. Remember that forest is considered as the home of some organisms. Throughout its life, a single tree can absorb up to a ton of carbon dioxide. Lastly, educate people. All efforts done in lessening the effect of climate change will be useless if people do not have knowledge how to take care of our environment. The best way is to educate them about the dangers of climate change and how to act against it. And that ends our lesson this week. I hope you learned something great today. Please give this video a thumbs up click subscribe and bell button and share this video to others. Comment down below if you want a shout out. Shout out to Micaela Ebora, Rona Jane Pacheco, and Christian Neat. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you on my next video. Bye class!